Stanford lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. for a loss. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Third and 12. Ball on the 23. Five wide. That's a great tackle at the 15. Call a loss of eight yards on the floor. That makes it fourth and long. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 47. Stanford's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Scrambling around. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. So the quarterback tucked it away and picks up the first. He didn't have to go very far, so instead of taking a chance through the air, he did it himself. That's a nice play. From the 42-yard line. First down. They go over the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Picks up about six yards there. That makes it third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Steps out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Stanford could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Stanford's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Looking for his man, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Tackle made at about the 45. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he 
was tackled right away. Nice catch on that one. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. On the throw, incomplete pass. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offside, Offside. defense. defense. And he helped the oh, offense man, with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and 10. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. All right. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Third down. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. Deep ball, laying it out there. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So our score, 7-3. Notre Dame is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run up the middle. From their own 29-yard line, second down, they line up in the jumbo set. They'll bring him down at the 31. Quick out to his receiver. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. They'll give it off here. Look at the strength. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Man, no kidding. This guy can fly. So it's first and ten after the big run. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Down to lose one. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Let's go! Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Third down again. And 
he's immediately tackled. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Fighting Irish lead, 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike's at 59. Let's go. Complete. He's got room. Brought down around the seven-yard line. Number 22 brings him down at the seven-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Right high. 59. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. If you're the running back here, you've got to get up, dust yourself off, and get set for the next play. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Stanford lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Notre Dame is up one. Big opening. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 41. And he stopped behind the line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 37. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike, 11. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They hand it off. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he's taken down at about the 35. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Check the right, 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 right. Hold it up there. Check the outs up there. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. They give to the tailback, and he's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a game, six yards. That'll make it second. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in a goal line set. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. At the 
47-yard line. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. First and 10, ball on the 47. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. hit immediately so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield he flings it right oh what an interception it's a great job in coverage by this linebacker he does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Notre Dame up a point. Nice play across the middle. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Two-yard line. Out of bounds, around the 44-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 44. Reception good for around four yards. He got just a little bit of separation from the defender, and that was enough room for him to make the catch. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. With third down and medium, you'd think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and to be able to stop the offense. I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there, but they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. hit before he can go anywhere. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Great throw. made right around the 18-yard line. Notre Dame with a one-point lead. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. the 12th play of the drive. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. and it's caught for the touchdown. Oh, 
He makes the PAT. A 12 play, 80 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yard and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 14 to six. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Well, we're headed to halftime now. and We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 14-6, Fighting Irish. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game four. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Check 59. Mike. Mike is going to go. Green 19. Green 19. Run, 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 run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and two. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He's out of bounds at the 39. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. This is the eighth play of this drive. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Check 
And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. This is the 11th play of this drive. Night, night, sweetheart. Well, the last time down here they threw an interception. I'd like to erase that memory. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. This is the 13th play of this drive. Three down, three down. Check it out. Touchdown, Cardinal! That last carry puts him over the century mark for the game. That gave this offense their fifth first down on this drive, too. They've really been rolling with this guy leading. Here we go. They'll try to tie it up right here with a two-point conversion. Now he tries to buy some time. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. They don't get it. A 13-play, 74-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. So the score now, 14 to 12. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Notre Dame with a two-point advantage. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. That's a two on the play. That makes it second and eight. And he's going to be sacked. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. From their own 25-yard line, third down. Under pressure, he's going to air it long. Can't connect. Intended for the wide receiver. A little mix-up here. Here the quarterback expected the receiver to come back to the ball, but there was a little confusion, a little miscommunication, and the result, an incomplete pass. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. Tackle made at the 35. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Oh, come on, man. Come on tight. Double tight. Come on tight. Three down, three down. Check 59. Oh, 
on the run. And he's tackled at the 46. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 46-yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. That's good for the three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. So at the end of three, the Fighting Irish lead 14 to 12. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Hey, let's get some penetration here. Let's get some penetration. Right. 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 We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. Notre Dame is up two. He steps out right around the 46-yard line. And he's level at the 42. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Complete. He's got room. Right down to 37 yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. In your face. That brings him second and five. And he's taken down right around the 40. But well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Not over here. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Tries to thread the needle, it's picked off. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Let's go. Green is hot. Tackle at the 33 yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Give to the tailback. Has some daylight. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to mic the 48. Here we go. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. 59. 59. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Number 23 on the tackle at the 32-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here we go. Francis. 
That's a great tackle at the 34. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Just under three to go in regulation. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. made right around the 30. The running back gets two on the carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. He's on the run. Makes it to the 41. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays, and for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. Stanford's called their final timeout. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Just under two to go in the game. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. That's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Stanford staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Throws it deep. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. And it's a whole new ball game. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. They'll go for two in this situation. 
Stanford holds a four-point lead. Here we go. Looks to the end zone. Interception. And they won't get the two. to kick and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He sends this one deep. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Not much time to be creative here. They've got to get the ball into the end zone. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Stays inbounds to make a nice catch. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nice grab on the play. And they make the stop, the 47-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Stanford 18, Notre Dame 14. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.